Friday, September 22nd, 1245 Mountain Time, 2017. Going back to yesterday, the 21st, yet again, water disappears from coastal Brazil, east side. We've discussed this before, how the west side is more of a steep embankment coast. East side is a beach. But for some reason, the water keeps disappearing in places, or at least it's only being reported in certain places. That doesn't mean it's not happening in other places. And like it says here at Strange Sounds, is Brazil bracing for the next huge storm? Because right now, what is being blamed for this phenomenon that I guess really isn't all that well understood is wind. And anybody that, that I've ever talked to that lives along the coast, I was in a hurricane right along the coast that blew winds for 48 hours of 50 to 70 mile an hour. Consistent. Didn't drain any water away from the coast. If anything, it generated white caps and made for rough seas, which is very common. This is not common, but yet it did it again. Look, this was from yesterday, September 27th. Here's the video. Guy walks way out here, a few hundred yards. It's well beyond anything associated with low tide. I mean, if it was low tide, he wouldn't be filming this. So once again, down in Brazil, right in this area, water anomalies near the coast. We saw it during Hurricane Irma up here in Pensacola, Tampa Bay, St. Pete as the winds were blowing counterclockwise from the storm as it was entering the southern tip of Florida. I was in a hurricane in 2004, a large, big, strong hurricane, Francis, that rotated counterclockwise for 48 hours. That's what I mentioned earlier. Winds of 50 to 75 mile an hour sustained, didn't drain a drop of water from any bay along any coast. All it did was create rough, choppy seas and they put out mariner advisories for boats um, and no advisory ever said that your bays may turn into giant sandboxes that didn't happen then but for some reason it's happening now so a big heads up for some reason this water phenomenon continues brazil once again and i would assume i would assume that with maria there should be video surfacing because it went by the islands at a very strong uh, category level, category, well, in some cases, uh, category five near St. Croix, uh, as it crossed Puerto Rico, got up near the Turks and uh, Caicos, it should have drained some shorelines like Irma did, because it was a strong two, strong three, with very um, hefty sustained winds of over 80, 90 mile an hour. So we should see some videos surfacing uh, from that event. So anyway, that's it for now, guys. Brazil must be bracing for the next huge storm as water disappears from beaches once again. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.